So today I'm actually starting my day going to my buddy Scott's house. So my buddy Scott is a really cool lady and uh, he picked it up earlier, I think this year or late last year and it actually has a pretty cool SR setup in it. It has like a big turbo and mega squirt and everything but he doesn't really, it's not, it's not fully finished yet and he doesn't really know which route he wants to go with it. So I'm gonna go down today, kind of assess what parts he has, what he needs and uh, maybe figure out what route he wants to go with it. So uh, we're heading out there now, I'm pretty excited to see it. I've never personally seen the car myself, so uh, I just gotta sit through another 20 minutes of traffic and we should be there. So, I'll see you soon. Alright, so this is a serious build. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Yeah, neither do I. That's why I this guy. Holy crap. All right, we've been going to the car and it's absolutely overbuilt. It's insane. There's so many random things. He got this for a good deal. So I think it was the perfect situation where someone was having kids, so he got it for cheap. That happens all the time. Yep. So uh, this, oh my God, my literally so OD. It is pretty though. All right, this car is unreal. The previous owner wired everything, literally everything. So it's a Mega Squirt standalone ECU and it's a full custom harness for it. Even the dash harness is fully custom. He ran all the wires for the signals and everything separate from the body harness. So this thing has a lot of lot of cool parts on it. Everything is brand new. Probably 12 grand apart just sitting around for no good reason. But this wiring, trying to figure out someone else's wiring is gonna be a bitch. A bitch. So uh, we're kind of contemplating sending it back to stock harnesses. Someone else's project that we're going to spend weeks trying to figure it out. So I think we're just going to convert it back to stock harnesses. Because uh, this guy here kind of just wants to have a fun street car. Get around the road. Exactly. So he got such a good deal on this car that we can't complain. We do feel bad kind of undoing a lot of this work. But uh, I think to get on the road for the cheapest and fastest option, converting it back to stock yep. harnesses, that is. So we got to remove all of this wiring. So the previous owner actually made his own full body harness too, which is insane. So uh, we gotta replace everything, but that's no worries. The previous owner did do a really good job, so props to him, but... Mm -mm. The rest is being made <laughs> one zip tie at a time. So this dude, I, I st I'm still baffled at the previous owner. He made literally a whole harness for everything, for every control, like full streetcar harness. Very, very impressed. So we're gonna try and, I don't know, we just both feel way too guilty cutting it, but we're not gonna use it, so. There's so much, unreal. So it had LS coil pack conversion on it. It's actually a pretty cool kit, but it's kind of unnecessary for what we're using it for. So we're gonna get rid of it. Um, just another parts that he could sell, get some money back from the initial cost. So the guy actually did throw in the stock um, coil packs and the harness. So easy swap out, just like that. I just got the Mega Squirt uh, wire harness off the car. It was actually pretty clean and simple, so it came out really easy. Now I'm just tackling the power harness and the trans harness. The previous owner did a really good job running the power, the power harness, I guess you would want to call it. So. Uh, I'm just going through making sure everything's all set. Nothing's really hacked, so it's making our life a lot easier. So like I said a million times before, props to the previous owner. Oh, so we just pulled the body harness out. I completely forgot to film it. <laughs> Do it in the back seat first. So, there it is. Absolutely ridiculous. When in doubt, keep it simple. Go back to stock. <laughs> all right, so we kind of just went through the whole car and Pretty much figured out exactly what we have and what we need. So it's cool because it's pretty unfinished, but a lot of the hard stuff is done. Like the whole fuel system is done. Um, brake lines. Brake lines, exhaust, all the random stuff. All the turbo lines are ran. The intercooler piping's ran. Uh, cool lines are ran. All the sensors are there. So now essentially what we need is we just need to put all the wire harnesses back into the, the body. So I have to get a dash harness, a full wraparound harness for the rear, front body harness, and an engine harness. So it's gonna be all wiring at that point, so it's just gonna be tedious stuff. But after that, um, we have to make an intake. So we need an intake and a Z32MF. Uh, what else did I say? We need the ECU, so we're gonna go with it. Prop we're probably gonna go with the Nismo Tron, like my car. Uh, very easy to use and uh, he'll be able to use everything on his car right now. Now it's definitely like a drag style of turbo. It's 
on the big side for drifting, but we're gonna make it work. It's 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 just too pretty of a setup to to not use. So if not, we'll put the stock there, we'll exactly. We do have like stock everything in there and everywhere else. So uh, worst case, we go back to stock. It's not too bad. I was expecting like it needing a lot more stuff, but as far as that, just wiring and small things. So it's pretty cool. Till next time. Good progress. Good progress. All right, so I left my buddy Scott's house a few hours ago. Um, there wasn't really too much to do at the shop tonight, so I don't really feel like heading down. But my 240 hasn't been driven in a long time just because I haven't had any rear tires on it or any tires on any extra wheels. So uh, we're going up to Bobby G's house, Steffi and I, because uh, I ordered some tires from Bobby Wago because dad owns a garage. So we're going to head up to his house. It's a little far away, but uh, I've been meaning to pick up the tires for a long time, and uh, today's a good night to do it. We're coming for you, Bobby G. All right, we're at Bobby G's humble abode. So Bobby G's shop is pretty sick, but uh, what happened to him this weekend isn't. So Bobby, you want to explain what happened this weekend? Um, it was obviously raining, like at Staggered. You have the video up already. Mm -hmm. It was raining. I was at Club Loose North, which is not really known for having the best condition of tracks. When it dried up, the first turn dried up like instantly. Going into the second turn from the first turn was super wet and my car was not liking it. So I had to lower the tire pressure a lot. I guess my car hooked on a dry piece of pavement and- And messed all his rear end stuff up. So the short version, the track was very inconsistent grip wise and it would really mess with his rear end and something got loose and destroyed the rest of it. Like everything. Every Bobby still hasn't really figured out how it happened. Because it almost has a damage of him hitting a wall, essentially. Yeah. So his whole rear end is tweaked, and he just put it in, which really sucks. So. My, like, wheel is, like, staying stable by a ratchet strap. Like, that's how it's, like, being loaded and unloaded from the trailer. Well, there she is. <laughs> Control arm, Bobby. Okay, Bobby has pet cows, so we're trying to pet him. We have found a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It is big. That's a, that's a large heifer. I'll touch a cow. <gasps> Not a bad Monday. All right, back to uh, Bobby's car. All right, well, Bobby just ran something over and his car stopped running. Is that gas? It's burning. Did you get a fuel line? Oh, that's my fuel pressure regulator. It's gas. Oh yeah, that's a lot of gas. That's oh. gas just flowing out. Move the car first. Life of a drifter, pulling a broken car off the trailer and breaking it even more. <laughs> Ain't care. Dang right? Sort of care though. Sort of care. Sort of care. How the f is that still leaking? <laughs> nice. All right, so no matter what, the gas line was leaking after I like plugged it. So we jacked up the front end so that line is now higher than the tank, so gravity isn't forcing it out anymore. So probably should be good to fix it. Hopefully his budget allows him to. We'll see. We'll see. If anyone has a E36, or I mean an E36 part car sitting around anywhere, we need the, the fuel, what is it, control unit they call it? Fuel, fuel control valve, fuel pressure regulator, all the same thing. Yeah, it's all one unit. If you guys have it laying around, let me know. Um, I got PayPal, and I'll send it your way. Um, try and hook us up. I'm trying to get on the road course. True. Oh, and then here's the reason I came, my tires. <laughs> Thank you, now I can actually drive my coupe. These are knockoff Nankings. <laughs> I said, if anyone has a parts E36 in CT, hopefully, let us know, because we need a few things. We need ASAP. 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 Rocky. True. So. We're out of here, Bobby. I love you, love you as too. always. So, you guys know the drill. I'm gonna end it right now. So, uh, yeah. So we got some work done on my buddy's hatch today. Hopefully, that'll be running very, very soon. So, um, yeah. So we're back in the shop tomorrow. I'm really excited to start working on the budget hatch once again. But we are done for today. So, Bobby, ending it. Yeah. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Buy stickers. Yeah. On the website, as always. Buy some shirts. Sell some shirts yet? Yeah. All right. Buy those. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good night.